Let setup and run in a tent. Before that, we need to install Node.js first. So simply go to Node.js website. If you are not installed yet, uh, just simply install the uh, ELTS version of Node.js as per your operating system. Once you're done installing it, uh, simply open your terminal and then command node-v. It should show the latest ELTS version of Node. Okay. So once Node is ready, the next step is to run the NATM. So it is as simple as running npx and NATM. And that's it. NATM will start running instantly on port 5678. You can simply copy this URL and open up in the browser. Okay. So my NATM instance is running. But uh, there is a problem. As it is running from terminal, if I cancel this process or close this terminal, uh, my instance will automatically off with it. Okay. To prevent this, we need to run this in background. And how we will uh, we will do it by using the PM2. So PM2 is Node Process Manager. Okay. So simply install it like npm install hyphen g it means global pm okay so that's it with this command uh, install the pm2 sometimes you may need to use sudo with this command okay so take care of that and once you install the pm2 simply run it is like pm2 start npx nhl okay so as you can see nhl is running in background so if I open this URL again, so you can see N8N is running in background now. Okay. Next, as you can see, it's running on localhost, right? Localhost 5678. And uh, uh, for uh, most of the processes or workflows within n we need a triggers. And for that, our machine need to be online on internet. Okay, so but as it is running on local host, it is not accessible over the internet. Our NATN instance is not accessible over the internet. Okay, to overcome this, we will simply use the ng rock. So what it will do, it, it simply creates a tunnel and make our NATN instance online. Okay, so simply same as the PM to install the ng rock. Okay, once you install it, simply uh, run the command ngrock http 5678 okay so as you can see it is uh, it has created a tunnel for us and this is our public internet url for our n instance okay so now you can access your n instance publicly over the internet and you can use this as a webhook url uh, within your workflows okay so now next thing is uh, as you can see, whenever you run this command, uh, this subdomain will change dynamically. Okay, to get your fixed or static subdomain, you need to create your account with ngrock and it is free for up to one instance. Okay, so now we have done <coughs> running it locally, we have done running it with local uh, background process with PM2, and we have also made our instance uh, available over the public internet using the ngrock. Now, let's start installing uh, NATM on VPS. So I am using DigitalOcean for my VPS needs. So let's create a droplet. I am selecting the region and the plain normal Ubuntu version 24. I am also say, selecting the basic installation with just 2 GB RAM. Now there is a root password I will set. So I have kept it handy. And now simply I will create a droplet. Okay, now the droplet is ready. 
This is IP address. Okay. So now let's connect to our VPS. Okay. Now we have connected to our VPS. Now uh, let me add one non root user or as a sudo user so we will add user like ubuntu uh let's do it the password okay now user ubuntu is created now let's add this user to sudo group Sorry. Use that bar. Okay. So now Ubuntu is a sudo user. Let's log in with Ubuntu. Yes, let's go to its home folder. Okay. Now the first step is to install the Node.js. Let's install the Node.js. Download, create Linux, copy this. Okay, so what it does, it has installed the NUM Node Version Manager. Now, by use, with using this NUM, I will install the LTS version of Node.js. Okay, let's check the installation. Uh, yes, our Node.js is installed. Now, next step is just uh, checking by running this NADL run command. So, let's run it. Let's install. This will take some time. Okay, so now NADM is running on 5678 port. So this is our IP address. Okay, now uh, as we are not running it from localhost, it is asking us to enable the setup SSL or HTTPS. Okay. So now N810 is successfully installed. What we will do now is uh, just like our local host, uh, so we will install the node process manager which will run N810 in the background. So let's install it. The PM2 that is the node process manager. Okay, and let's start in it and in the background. Go, sir. Okay, now the same way now it is running on the same port. Okay, it's just running that in the background, nothing else. So, next step, we need to install the caddy. So, caddy is a ng uh, nginx uh, alternative, which is having the by uh, inbuilt or let's say by default uh, SSL support. So, it's very easy to install and very easy to set up. So, let's install caddy. So let's follow these steps. And then 
the second step this is the third step the fourth one now let's install okay so now as we want to set this up for n8n.uvisa.com that is our custom sub token so you need to set this up uh, into a dns settings so as i am using the uh, cloudflare I will set it up in my DNS. Okay, before that, uh, okay, let's first add the record. Like it's NA10, and uh, this is the IP. Okay, so there will be, uh, let's say, uh, multiple redirection error will come and I will show you why it may come okay so that is because uh, in SSL settings make sure your settings are not flexible like you have to select the full one or full strict one okay do not use the flexible one otherwise, otherwise it will fail so always use the full one if you are using cloudflare so let's save it. So now my uh, SSL mode is full. Okay, now let's set up our caddy file. So in our root, simply create file like caddy, caddy file. So here I will add configuration n10.user.com. It's reverse of proxy. Or local host voice six seven eight, and that's it. Okay, I will save this. Now I will simply reload the caddy. So how I will do that? I will simply run command sudo caddy reload. Okay, now I will start the caddy. So now. Let's visit our domain. And that's it. This is how we have set up our custom domain on our VPS along with Caddy. Okay, now here you can simply uh, log in or create credential with for your N8N account. Start using N8N on your server. Now there is a time limited offer. You can get most of the paid feature for free just by registering your email address. So make sure you do this so that you will get additional paid features for free. Okay.